I must me guys and welcome to another episode of Sea of Thief. Last time we went out fishing. Hello, my name is Sister. And welcome back to the second fishing episode. So yeah, last time I ended up with saying we would go out fishing for the five remaining fish. And that is what we're going to do in this episode. So I'm so lucky at, at the thought, well, why not just sail right over to the devil's raw so we could catch some devil fish and you know what i found this over here a sunken ship and that gives us the opportunity to do this fish for some records so that's what i'm gonna do and as soon as i caught one i will be right back with you guys so i caught a wrecker this Little guy here is a rigger. It's, as you can see, based on the anglerfish. It's not very beautiful, and I do not feel safe about being here. The thing we just saw was because there's a chance there's a volcano that's going to erupt soon. So we better be on the lookout for that. And just, in general, hope for the best. I can tell you so much that if a volcano erupts, I will be able to hear it and you probably hear it as well. And apart from that, I will pull in. Regardless of whether we have a fish or not. Because I don't want to risk my ship to a volcano erupting. So, that's why I'm only going to try and capture one, two records. Nice try, a little sea foam. And some of you will probably say, it's a idiot. That, that, that was a trophy. Well, yeah, it was a trophy. But if you really want a valuable fish... That is a true. Then you want the trophy, sure. But you want the v rare variants of each fish as a trophy. Especially the wrecker. Now, the wrecker's five variants, as I mentioned in, previous, in the last video, each fish, has, each fish has five variants. I forgot to mention the different versions of the. Stonefish. So I'll quickly go over those. But first I'll fish here for some more records. And last time I had trouble getting hold of the rare variant of the splash tail and looks like I just got one. Yeah, and as a trophy as well. Not what I was expecting. Now, regarding the wreckers. The five variants of the fish is the base variant is the rose rigger. The common variant is the sun rigger. Then, here is the difference between the rigger and the other fish that has common, that has base, common, uncommon, rare, and night fish version of itself. The rigger does not have an uncommon variant, however, it does have a storm variant called the black cloud rigger. That one only occurs at sunken ships that are caught in a storm. So you have to be fishing at a sunken ship while in a storm to catch the black cloud rigger. Now the wreckers wants what is called earthworms for bait. And this here was the umber 
the rare variant of Stress Tail. So, <laughs> that is why you did not see that variant picture in the last video. Because I actually caught it in this video. So, as I said, I forgot to mention to you the different variants of the Stonefish. Now, there's a little special about the Stonefish because it depends. They can only be caught, well, during a storm, and apart from that, apart from only being able to be caught in a storm, they are based on a rare variant. A night variant and three area variants. Now, the ancient variant, which was the one we caught last time, it's actually one that you can only find in the area of Sea of Thieves called the Ancient Isles. Another one of the stonefish variants is the Shores variant. This one can only be found in the Shores of Plenty area of Sea of Thieves. Then you have the wild stonefish, which can only be found in the area of Sea of Thieves that is called the wilds. Last time we were only in the ancient isles and in that area. This time we will be going to the wilds as well as the shores of plenty now the rare variant of the stonefish is called the shadow and again i'm not gonna try and catch them i will show pictures of them and you should have seen the pictures in the last in the last video I'm just commenting in case I have forgotten to put those pictures in. That also why I'm telling you what these variants are. The Twilight variant. That's the night ver variant of the Stormfish. Now the one I'm catching here for regular is actually a Rose Rigger, the base variant. And would you know it or not? It was a trophy. Now, that's a trophy of the Rigger that you really want. And that's the snow. Because it can give you, if it's perfectly cooked and it's a trophy, you can earn up to 14,000 gold selling it. So that is definitely a fish you want catch now I think two riggers should do it I will put those fish up and grill them and sell them However, I'm planning on waiting until we have every last type of fish caught. Well, most of them. Because, you see, the battle gills, I'm not very uh, happy about going for that one. Seeing as it requires grubs and can only be caught near an active skeleton ship or skeleton fort. Last time I tried that, when I tried to record this video last, it um, didn't go too well. I lost my ship, I lost everything, so that's why this time I'm not going for it. Now the battle gill. The five variants of the battle gill uh, the base variant is called the Jade. It's called Jade Battlefield. 
Sky Palkill is the common variant. Rum Palkill is the uncommon variant. Sand Palkill is the rare variant. And like the Snow Wrecker, if it's a trophy, it can give you up to 14,000 gold if you catch it and cook it to perfection. Finally, you have the Night variant of the Battle Guild, which is called the Bittersweet variant. Yeah. How they came up with that name, I have no idea. I can't remember what it looked like, I only saw it once, and it was... I believe it was cooked, I'm not sure. But, well, that's how it is. Anyways, the devil fish, which is the one I'm fishing for here, and it's the one that I have one on the hook right now, come in the following variants. Base variant is called Ashen. Then you have the seashell, which is the common variant. Then you have lava, which is the uncommon variant. You have the forsaken, which is which is the rare variant, and it's also one that can earn you a lot of money if it's a trophy and you cook it perfection. Then you have the night variant, which is called firelight. And it actually looks like it's burning with fire. Oh, and you just heard the volcano. Do we have a trophy here? Maybe? I think it, I might do. I might have. That's why I would love for it to stop battling because the volcano is erupting and I'm not sure if we might risk getting hit from where we are maybe we will maybe we won't yeah it was a trophy off the seashell and you saw me catch one earlier that was also a seashell variant and you guys i'll be right back with you as soon as i found some work safe to be and we probably as oh, preferably in the wild or shores of plenty area which you probably in the wild area so until then see you guys so i reached the wilds now it's been quite long Journey, I stopped down here at Morse Peak to sell all the dresses I've gotten from fighting two hmm, Michael Duns. The one you saw me not been bell with in the last episode. Well, I told you about it at least. And the one I fell shortly after. So I sailed all this way up because there's a galleon, one has a galleon scrape, and there's this reaver over here. So I wanted to be sure I was out of sight. And in the meantime, I have been pretty much cooking all the fish that I had caught so far. So, next fish I'm trying to catch now is the wild splash. Well, like the one, like the wrecker, the wild splash wants earthworms for bait. It can only call in the wilds and the variants it comes in are as follows. The base variant is called Russet. The common variant is called Sandy. The uncommon variant is called Ocean. The rare variant is called Muddy. 
And the night variant is called Coral. And I think I might have caught the uncommon variant right here. I'm not sure. It's quite a while since I've seen these when they weren't cooked. So, as of now, I'll try and do my best and see. And the variant we got here was the ocean, the incoming one. So, all I have left is actually go over and catch. A plenty fin. And let you guys see what that looks like. So I'll be on my way over there and I'll see you guys when I get there. And now everybody I have arrived at the wilds. Let me just quickly show you where I placed myself in the top here, H, because, well, the reaver was still down here at Hidden Spring Keep, and I didn't want him to see me, but it appears he might have died and lost the ship, because the fort which he was at is still active, so, yeah. But let's see if we can catch the last type of fish. The plenty fin. Now the plenty fin, like the wrecker and the wildflies, wants earthworms as as bait. For bait. Now the variants of the plenty fin is as follow. The base variant is uh, it's called olive. Amber is the name of the common variant. Cloudy is the name of the uncommon variant. Bone dust is the name of the rare variant. Which is kind of a white grayish white with grayish hints in it. And the night variant is called watery. Which I find a bit <laughs> of a weird name. But that's what it is. Now this last fish here, the one that we have here, I believe that's the amber version, so this should be the common variant. We'll figure out shortly. Oh. He's a trigger little. He's a sneaky little one. Pretending to be knocked out and then nope, not anyway. Let's see here. If I ain't right. Yes, it's the amber plenty pin. Isn't it a beauty? Well, let's go down and cook it. Oh, and on the way, I managed to harpoon in four things. So, now all I want to do is actually just head on over to a sea post and sell all the fish that I cooked. And then just take it from there. However, before we do that, we need to be sure that we are at Smuggler's Bay, because that's the one that indicates when we need to go south. But we also need to keep an eye on our fish here. And it's the done. Good. So, the one I plan on going for is the Spoils of Plenty store. That's the seabos I plan to sail over to and I hope I'll be able to do that 
We'll see how it goes. But I do believe it should be possible for us to get over there. And now I need to really look at where I'm going, otherwise I might sell into Smuggles Bay. Which is not what we want to happen. So you guys, just, I'll see you once I'm at the sea post and then you get to see what all the fish and meat we have found and caught are worth now that they have been perfectly cooked everything well we burned one piece of fish that's okay it was a ruby splash tail and we found another ruby splash tail that was perfectly cooked in a barrel so we already had one that was perfectly cooked that we cooked ourselves and then we found another one so it couldn't be better anyways you guys I'll see you once I'm there hello everybody and welcome back so here you can see the sea post that we are on our way to we're pretty close and should arrive there shortly. It's just it's just the sails and adjust where we're going a little bit. There we go. And this episode has pretty much taken me all day so along with the previous episode so I am a little bit tired and hungry now and just want to finish this off so you guys have to bear only with me if I'm not that talkative here towards the end. I will try and fill it in with maybe music or you can just enjoy the sound of the game. worth us yet. Let's quickly check on the map to see. Okay. We're coming in hot. Let's just uh what to say a little bit. And just slowly cruise in so that we can adjust the ship all the way there. The closer you can get your ship, the better it is, because that means you will be able to jump off and on to the ship again and again. Well, I believe this should be the perfect stop. Well, not too shabby. Okay, I'll just take this, where we have some of the fish in. Over here. Place it there, for now. Because... I always like to Hello, check out I'm these Peter, and, and I want to check out what he has for sale. Because I want to kind of collect everything. And the collector in me get, comes up into me when I have the possibility for it. I had everything except for the boots so I'll just buy those real quick. There we go. Paul, Good. Say goodbye to the nice pirate. Now... 
Let's take these five fish. First, the ruby splash tail, the regular size. You can see it gives us 115. Well, we got 3,000 extra. Hmm. Interesting. I did not expect that. Huh. What do you know? Okay, let's sell the tiny splash tail. 225 for that one. It's worth more than the base. Now the amethyst isle hopper will get 164. The night variant of the isle hopper is the same amount of gold as the base variant, which is the stone, so it's not worth that much. But it can always be worth it. Now, snake, when cooked perfectly, is worth approximately 45. Well, yeah, actually, it's always worth 45. Now, we have this burned splash tail. And, see, 15. So, guys, if you're fishing, uh, killing animals in the game, or battling kraken, Megalodons getting the meat and cooking it. Be sure to keep an eye out on it so it doesn't burn. You will thank me for reminding you of that. So, chicken. Like snake, gives 45. The lava tail fish, which is which one we found. And which is burnt. Well, it only gives us 85. Pork also gives 45. Now, shark also gives 45. So, the common ones gives 45. While the fish, well, They give different amounts. Now, Megalodon will always get 450 if it's perfectly cooked. Ah, yeah, apparently I became grade 5. Under of the sea foam splash tail. So let's just get on the ship. Grab the rest of the meat. Well, more precisely, the rest of the fish. There we go. Now, you probably noticed that it said 40 with a ring around it. Well, that's the level I have. The rank which I have with Hunter's Call. And for some reason. Oh, yeah, and Craig Meat also sells for 450 if, when it's perfectly cooked. For some reason, whenever you talk with anyone from the Hunter's Call, all of them, their name ends on. Rick. Oh, Rick. It's a little fun to hat. With that. Something they also did with all the others. Oh yeah. That trophy. That was a good one to sell. That was the trophy. Rose rigger. Now we're selling the trophy Umber. Again, 1410. That's why you want the rare ones and not only the rare ones, but the rare ones as trophies. See, the rare regular perfectly cooked, not 
being a well trophy only gave 675 had it been a trophy would have given so much more and now we sell the rest to go and board my ship and you guys that's gonna be it for this episode hope to see you guys next time and good bye